So my name is Lakhwinder, as it has been announced. I'm from e ECC. I'm heading the cloud practice over here. So we look into the managed services on AWS and other clouds also, but majority of our customers are on AWS. I hope you can see my presentation. That's good. Okay. Great. So this is what we are into. So we are into... Something worked on AI over here, and it changed the, <laughs> the, the line over there. So I really don't know what has happened in this, but something fantastic has happened. I love this thing, that AI does these things for you. Okay? It has got its own mind to do certain things, and we have already experienced that on WhatsApp. You want to type out something, there's an auto-correction which does that for you. And this is exactly what has happened over here. So we are into gaming, we are into media, we've got our own products into media, into gaming. We have something which is for AI, that is for uh, generation. So we've got a Atlas API manager, and it, we've got even Atlas Gen AI product, by which you can develop your own Gen AI software, and implement it on your products. So the, that's something that we are into. We are about uh, 450, no, we are about 475 plus right now. And we are specifically giving solutions on these various streams, that is, on media services. BFSI is a big uh, customer. You've got into education. We are into healthcare. So these are some of the sectors that we are working on. We have seen this industrial revolution. It has started from, from steam engine, where we've got our steam engine thing. We've we all gone through steam engine. I think so. I was the person who was, who was also experienced steam engine. So we've got a coal in the eyes when we were traveling through that. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> next generation was obviously into the, into the oil and gas sector, where we got our industry, where, where we did a mass production of certain things. We went next into automating that with electricity so that we could do some more automation on top of it. Right now, I think so we're in between four and five where we are doing IoT devices, cyber, that is internet and cyber related stuff. And plus we are doing cloud computing right now. So it's more like, I mean, sometime back about, you, think, you can say 20 years back, I was, I was asked my senior at that time, what is the next big thing? I mean, we know that electricity can be purchased by, you know, you can just plug in something and you can pay the bill for whatever you use. Can you do something for com computing? I mean, this is how it is right now. So you can get the compute power and you can pay as you go on this particular thing. That's how the cloud is. And this is the best fit solution for what we are talking about today, that is about Gen AI and ML. And that's, that's the best suited solution. I mean, you can say that this concept was already there in terms of the natural language or all those things. But obviously, the computing power was not there, which is now substituted by cloud computing. You can enhance it. You can put more computing in that and get results quicker. Right now, the major challenge that I would say in emerging trends is artificial intelligence. We've got a lot of data, a lot of data in silos with financial institutions and various other places. But you really don't know how to regulate it and you get into the cloud part of it or maybe into Gen AI portion, how do you use it? So that's where we come into place. We've got blockchain technology. I've got my, my client over here who's sitting down who's one of the implementers of large block blockchain in India. So that's for a financial sector. I won't name what is it because it's confidential. We don't have the, the permission to say that. But they are a consortium of about 20 banks who are building up a blockchain technology to verify whether the transactions are happening correctly or not. See, one of the beautiful things about blockchain is that earlier we used to use something called escrow account, where you used to post some money, do a transaction, and then let, let us release it from the escrow. Now, that particular thing can be taken care of by blockchain. So that's something which is beautiful coming out of blockchain, and that's what we are doing. IoT, we are helping one of our customers, one of the biggest electricity distributors is working with us on IoT devices, wherein we are, we are helping them to monitor their, their devices in how soon is the manufacturing or that particular 
industry going to need maintenance of their equipments. So that's a particular thing that we are looking into and working with the customers on that particular front. So that is in, in relation to IoT devices. You got 5G, obviously all this tied together, we need faster networks also. So that's where we are coming in with 5G technology where we are building up our own things to support 5G. Next is cloud computing, we are already there. We have got our own managed services. We look into providing customers and we are helping them move to cloud. That's something that we are into. Obviously, artificial intelligence does have a lot, lot of role to play in, in cloud. And in terms of today's network area, we've got a lot of data which is floating around. And in that, one of the major things which most of the financial institutions are working on is fraud detection. So in fraud detection, they are looking into, sorry, ah, that's better. Fraud detection, there are, there, are, uh, there are clients who are working on like Access Bank, who are looking into fraud detection of transactions which are happening on credit cards or on card, card related transactions. Same way, we are also having, we are enhancing the customer experience for one of our customers on to how do they give services to their customer and what kind of hyper care, hyper personalization are we doing for that particular customer. So that we can provide them what do they need and at the exact time that they need. It could be insurance sector or it could be any other sector. That's what we are looking into. Plus we have seen HDFC giving chatbots saying that you are, you want to have something, you type over there and they are giving you answers. So there are some documents which are behind, which are loaded onto the Gen AI framework and they give you responses based upon the question which are being asked. So that's something that we are building up for some of our customers. Plus there is AI driven automation. So we've got automations by which we can look into KYC, verify whether the particular KYC is correct or not. Recently there was one of my colleague who just mentioned that he wants to have an in interesting experience by which you can identify fraud and criminals onto this platform. So he just suggested, I was just having a discussion outside that he wants to build up that, that particular framework. So it's doable now, you can think about these particular options right now, because the technology is there right now. Earlier you could not have thought about it, that yes, you could integrate all these things and come out with this technology. Like you've got something like credit score for getting loan or credit card. Something similar for that for fraud detection and for criminals as such. So that's what he was talking about. So that's, that's an inter interesting use case. Thank you, my friend. We have seen that AI has got, in financial domain, they've got a lot of things that we are coming out. Like we have seen chatbots, we have seen that how to rely on whether there are any frauds which are happening. So there is Cash E, which is also looking at, rather than looking at the credit score, they've got their own mechanism to identify whether this person will be able to pay back or not. So that's something that they've come out with. Cashy is one of the companies which are, which are doing that. Digital payments, we have seen after the COVID, everybody has jumped into the bandwagon of UPI payments and other things. So we know better during the time, during the time of COVID, it was Paytm which just, which just flourished a lot into transactions on the on that particular thing. But we have also seen some bad news about them. So that's where we need to complement them by looking at the technology and how do we see that these fraud detections do not happen by use of Gen AI. That's something which is getting into it. Second, we've also looked at robo advisory. So there are, there are some chatbots created by mutual funds and insurances that what suits you better. So based upon your lifestyle, which is, which they can come out from social media and say that this is the best thing that, or this is the best product that you can have. So I've got one of my friends who's giving advices to insurance sector and he's helping them create products on Gen AI for underwriters. So underwriters are able to identify risks for them from social media and other things. He's pulling out this information on that particular, for that particular person and they are able to identify whether this person should be given insurance and what is the premium we should charge for that. So that kind of implementations are going on at present. It's, he's already doing it, although it is unofficial as such. So that's something which is going on. So these, these are some, some of the use cases of AI within financial domain. Obviously there is 
RPA, which is where we are saying that robot automation for which we are identifying like credit card processing or loan processing or it could be something related to KYC, whether this particular is leg this person leg legitimate or not. With KYC, we are able to also map from the social media and give out that information. We are doing these kind of implementation implementations for our customers and for other things also. Obviously, when you are coming out with this, this kind of data, security is of the most importance, in which we say that unless and until you are, you are putting guardrails around security, you cannot be sure that this particular data cannot go anywhere. First, that particular thing. You have to protect your data is the important thing that goes about in this. Along with it, we are also looking at the regulatory changes which are happening and how quickly can we adapt to that. So that's something which is, which is kind of we are lagging over here. Because we say that earlier, as compared to the earlier trends, the changes in the regulatory authorities, be it SEBI or, or RBI, there's a lot of fast changing things which are happening and we have to adapt to that. And for that, we'll have to use something which is an automated process of, uh, process of doing things. We are trying to build up a product on this particular front so that we can do those particular things for our customers. Plus, obviously, there are banks or there are financial institutions, they are good at finance, but they are not good at JNA or they are not good at machine learning. We have to complement those particular skills at that particular right area to go ahead. Future of AI is fantastic. I would say there's a lot of things, a lot of buzzwords called computing, uh, quantum computing, or digital only, or financials, blockchain, all these things are very good. But obviously, <laughs> it depends on the data that you protect. There are some consortiums in India and outside India who are looking at what kind of protection can be provided, what kind of discussions can happen with the regulatory authorities or the governments to put some certain guidelines to put in place. So these are some of the consortiums that after I was able to pull out from the net. That these are consortiums who are helping out the financial domain industry. Last but not least, obviously, I'll have to speak about our products. So the products which ACC brings in, so you got a product, first is smart contract. No, this is not the smart contract related to blockchain. This is something else. This is something which, is, which we are helping one of our customers to deliver after the, at the end of the day, you get those particular transaction details saying that in, the, in your stock market, saying that this is the transaction details that you've got and this is the amount of payment. So these are something similar to that. So we have got something which is very efficient into crores. We are able to do it within a minute or so. So that's, that's something that we are doing. Autumn is another application of ours or another product of ours, which is an end-to-end OTT platform, which we can allow you to bring in your content and then we can allow you to use this product to give an OTT platform for your end customers so that they can view it and you can regulate it along with the billing and other stuff. So that's an end-to-end -end platform for, for any providers. We've got customers, we, I can give you references later on who are our customers who are using this particular thing. We've got something called Atlas AMP, who, the product which we have built in using Gen AI, by which we are able to migrate applications. It could be traditional COBOL applications to the newer age modernization thing, or it could be other applications also. So we are, we have got this particular platform. We have got something called BVD, which is mostly into the utilization of cloud resources. It could be any cloud, be it AWS, Azure, or GCP. We've got this product which is working on that. We are able to give them a visualization on what kind of utilization is there, what kind of spends are you making on that. So they can correlate that. Nowadays, what is happening is that the spends and the Utilization are two different graphs. It's not on one particular thing. So we are able to correlate that and show you in a visualization by which you can see where, where are you spending that. That's what BVD is. There's another product called Atlas API Manager by which we are able to integrate APIs that you want to consume or you want to share with other people and monetize that also. So that's something which we have got as Atlas API Manager. So that's another product of us. Obviously, bring in a lot of other, what is it, uh, specialities, that is in terms of security, we do red teaming for our customers. We've got our own digitization team, which helps in developing software for our customers. There are softwares which are built in for named, famed 
financial institutions I can give you separately, not announcing out over here. Plus, there is a big data analytics team which is working with us. Along with it, we've got our own cloud team who's looking into managed services and automation part of it. ERP, we've got our own ERP team who's looking into implementations on Oracle, be it SAP, or any other ERP software. That's, that's what we've got a team into. So that's it from my side. Thank you.